Hello, hello! Welcome back to the channel and welcome to this vlog! Uh, nice to see you, it's been a while. Um, today I'm actually not going travelling anywhere this week, which makes a change. Um, but I thought I would vlog the next couple of days, next few days in fact, because it's actually my birthday in two days and in the run up to that I just happen to have a lot of very exciting things going on so I thought I would bring you along for the ride. So today is Wednesday, I'm currently at work and then tonight I'm actually going to a show. How exciting! About a month or so ago me, my sister and my friend Rachel booked to go see Mamma Mia! the musical. Uh, I've never seen it on stage before, I've seen the film many a time and I've heard very mixed things about the stage show so I'm intrigued to see it with my own eyes and make my own judgments. And then tomorrow I... oh my god, tomorrow! So I don't know if any of you have heard of an artist called Renee Rapp. Um, she released her first EP towards the end of last year and she... I first got to know her because she was actually Regina George in Mean Girls the Musical on Broadway. Actually that's a lie, the first time I heard of her was when she won the 2018 Jimmy Award which is like this, <laughs> this is really nerdy, it's this like musical theatre competition for high school students in America. So I first heard of her through when she won that, then she went on to play Regina George in Broadway. Um, she's insane, I didn't see her in that show when I saw it on Broadway, I saw the original Regina, uh, but I've seen lots of clips of her and she is insane. So I've been following her from that, um, then she was in a TV show uh, and now she is an artist and I think her whole long-term goal has always been to go into being a singer-songwriter and her music, I love it. Pop, sad, bops, right up my street. Um, and last week, with less than a week's notice, she announced her first ever London show um, the night before my birthday and I was like, gotta get myself a ticket! <laughs> and they were like 16 pounds, so I was like, how can I not go to this? So I was on the website, at 10am, missed out on tickets, they upgraded the venue, then I got my tickets, they sold out again and now they've upgraded the venue again, so it's going to be the biggest show of her career to date, which is so exciting. Um, so that is what I'm up to tomorrow, then the day after that is my birthday, so I've got a few fun things planned, I think I'm going to go to Borough Market maybe, go out for dinner, nice things like that, the day after that is I'm not having a party but I am going out for drinks with my friends so that's what that day is going to entail. Sunday I've booked a brunch, planning to be very hungover um, and Monday I'm going to recover <laughs> because next week is actually my last week at my current job. Um, I'm starting a new job in February which I'm very excited about but in the gap between leaving this job and starting my new job I actually have some annual leave to use up so I've booked a trip to Poland and Austria. So that's what I'm going to be doing next week and that'll be an entirely separate vlog. So in the chaos leading up to my birthday and that trip I thought I would vlog because there's lots going on, it's very exciting, um, so yeah, come along for the fun. <laughs> If you could hear a distant whirring in that clip, that is the fan running in my room because I have mould. London life! London life is paying almost £800 for rent in zone 4 with a mouldy room. <laughs> Why do I do it? Why do I do it? Um, probably because I have easy access to go to shows like Mamma Mia tonight, so yeah, that's that's the reason. <sighs> ay ay ay, ay ay ay, I'm freezing as well, I'm so cold, I've had the windows open for ventilation so I'm really cold right now. If you are um, thinking to yourself, Alice, why, why are you on the floor? Um, I'll give you a good reason. This box, oh it's quite heavy. Um, I got a knock at my door this morning and this box was delivered. And I've had a few parcels delivered over the last few days, um, which have been people sending me nice things for my birthday, which I'm really excited to open in a few days, but this is from my sister. And I know what it is, because there is literally a sticker on the top. There is literally this sticker on the top that says living plant inside, urgent delivery. So yeah, I have a feeling I might know the kind of thing that's in here. Um, and I text my sister to say it had arrived and she told me to open it today because I'm guessing it could need some watering. I don't know what plant it is though, I currently have one plant, which is a plant my sister got me for Christmas last year, or year before last technically. And um, it's a snake plant, so you literally never have to water it and it stays alive. So this could be a bit more responsibility for me. But this year for Christmas, my mum actually got me this cute little 
plant spray bottle thing so maybe I will actually need to use it with this plant um, and maybe because it's pretty it will encourage me to try and keep it alive. <laughs> Let's unbox. I feel like um, Casey Neistat in his New York apartment back in like 2014 unboxing stuff. Ooh, she's leafy. Uh, uh, don't drop it, Alice, don't drop it. Oh, she's pretty. The Swiss cheese plant. Very nice. Soil on the carpet. Soil all over my carpet. Oh God, ah! Okay, she's in. She's in, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna need to hoover. <laughs> oh, it's a lovely pot though. Oh, thanks, Lisa. Ah, oh, look at her. Wow, a real plant I need to try and keep alive. Does it come with instructions? <laughs> okay, she's up. She's in front of the fake plants. She is here, she's established. She's ready to rock and roll. I've just Googled how to take care of a snake plant. No, cheese plant, oh my God. How to take care of a cheese plant. And um, apparently they don't need water that much. So that is reassuring to me. Um, this is my snake plant living up there. He's, he's still going strong, I feel like. Maybe you're all gonna see it and comment in the plants like that is a dying snake plant. I certainly hope not, it looks fine to me. Um, so I'm gonna give it a light water because I don't want to overwater it. Apparently you can overwater them in winter months. Um, it's meant to be in direct sunlight, so there's my window. Here's the plant. I feel like that's okay. Any tips for keeping cheese plants alive? Let me know because I'm probably going to need them. But thank you very much to my sister. <laughs> ah <-ha. laughs> Alright. Come on, girly. Oh, shit. Oh, get in my Amazon packages wet. Hello, it is a few hours later. Um, I got sucked into this blog I was writing at work, so uh, I finished a little later than I meant to. Um, and now I have 10 minutes to make myself look presentable and leave the house. Um, my sister has also fallen a bit ill, so she can't come to the show anymore. So I've just been messaging like everyone I know. And my friend Erin, who I went to uni with, who I've not seen for like, 10 months maybe a year um she was in a train station ready to go home um because she goes to drama school and commutes and i was like look i've got this ticket and she was like ah ah okay i'm in so erin's coming now so it'll be a lovely reunion <laughs> um i'm gonna just rub some foundation or something into my face and i will see you in a second <laughs> So I was running pretty late, by pretty late, I mean about a whole six minutes, um, but we've changed the location of the wasabi that we were going to go to for dinner, um, just because one was more convenient for everyone, and it's actually five minutes closer to my house, so I'm now only technically one minute late, which is good. I literally just ran out of the house, I could have lipstick smeared on my forehead right now, would not even know. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna hop on the tube and I'll see you on the other side. Obviously won't film in Mamma Mia, won't stick my vlog camera in other people's faces, so content might be limited. There was a very slow man on the stairs with a suitcase that blocked them all off, so I missed my train by like 10 seconds. And now I've got to wait seven minutes. Disgusting. So now I'm gonna be late. Thank you, man with the suitcase. <laughs> We, we rushed a bit, but we're here. Um, Erin, hello. Rachel, hello. hello. Let's go. It's nine minutes till the show starts. Are you going to see it? We're in five minutes to spare. Mamma mia. Here we go again. <laughs> <sighs> well, I just got back, and that was so much fun. I had the best time. Oh my god, that was so, so fun. Um, it exceeded my expectations. A great show, high energy. I left with a spring in my step. I was skipping down the strand back to the tube. Uh, I had a great time. <laughs> the Donna, phenomenal. She was insane. Like, when it takes it all, took my breath away. Just, it was great to hit all the bops in there. And my friend mentioned in the interval, I'd forgotten that the stage show came before the film. So it was really cool to see what originally inspired the film. Um, and how closely the film followed the stage show at many, many points. 
Uh, so it was great fun. We had brilliant seats. We paid £30 for our seats, but they were brilliant. They were right in the middle. I had an excellent view. Uh, good leg room. So a lot better than other experiences in theatres that I paid £30 for. And the audience were a lot more respectful than I anticipated. It's at shows like Mamma Mia, uh, where you often get more rowdy crowds who don't do what they're told to do. But at the start of the show, when they do the announcement to turn your phones off, they also said, don't sing along, please, until the very end. Um, so that was much appreciated. And it was mostly followed for the most part, uh, which was great. I've had far worse experiences at like Dear Evan Hansen, to be honest with you. We went to Leon quickly for our dinner beforehand and I had a Korean chicken wrap, which was really nice actually. And it was so good to catch up with Rachel, but also Erin, who I've not seen for so long. She's doing great, so it was good to hear about what she's been getting up to. And yeah, just a great start to the first day of this extended weekend of activities. <laughs> it's probably time I drank about a gallon of water and then went to bed. <laughs> so I will see you tomorrow for half day of work, getting my nails done and going to a concert. Bye. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to the next day. I'd say good morning, but it is very much the middle of the afternoon. <laughs> um, I haven't picked up the camera yet, mostly because I was working all morning. So wasn't really much to show you um but i had a fairly productive morning despite being on half day and then i went out to get my nails done so i got this like white line sparkly design which i actually do quite like um but the issue was that i went to a place i'd never been to before i wanted to go to this one girl who i found on instagram who i thought would be perfect but i messaged her and she was literally having surgery the next day so then she's not doing any nails for like two weeks so i just found this local place i went to um and i showed them the picture of what i wanted and they were like oh yeah your nails are too thin for that we can't do that design and i was like okay whatever um the picture i showed them i didn't tell them was literally of my nails <laughs> and it was a design i'd had done before but i was like you know what if they if they feel they can't do it that's absolutely fine um so they worked around it but they kind of just they didn't do what I'd hoped they do to work around it. I don't hate it. I've had nails that I've really not liked before and these aren't that bad. Um, they're just not exactly what I wanted. Uh, but for London, they weren't very expensive, so that was good. Um, but yeah, I just miss living in Sheffield with one of my friends who was training to be a nail tech. She was great. I miss her being able to do my nails a lot. <laughs> but anyway, um, I got back from that and it's almost like four o'clock. Maybe it is four o'clock by now. Yeah, it's 4.02. Uh, so the concert I'm going to starts at seven and it's actually only takes me like 20 minutes to get there to the venue, which is great. So in the meantime, I'm just watching The Sex Lives of College Girls. I've seen the first season and season two dropped today and Renee Rapp, who I'm seeing tonight, is one of the four main characters in it. So I thought I will catch up on some of that while I can. Um, so yeah, that's my plan pretty much until I make dinner and head out the door to the concert. Hello, so it is now about half six. Um, doors open at seven, but it takes me a grand total of 20 minutes to get there um, and I saw people have been queuing up outside since like before 7am this morning so I figured <laughs> like no matter what time I go now it's hardly going to make any difference to where I stand uh, so I think I'm just going to get there for like half seven and stand through it um, and I'm sure it'll be fine. Right it is 7.01 I'm about to head out the door and I'm going to switch to the camera on my phone just because I don't want to take my whole vlogging camera with me um, but yeah I'm going to head to the gig and I will probably get some video bits when I'm there, which is very exciting. <laughs> so I'm vlogging. Um, I have gone for the no coat option because I figure it's gonna be very hot and sweaty in there and I'm gonna be jumping around a lot. But also there is literally frost on the ground right now. Um, so it could be a major mistake, but I live close to the tube station. The venue is close to the other tube station. So I'm hoping it's gonna be fine. I'm surviving so far. I feel like, I've survived going out in um, Sheffield in the north when it's been like chucking it down with snow <laughs> um, and I've had like crop tops on so this will be fine. <laughs> Everybody makes mistakes.
I made it, oh boy, was not taking a coat the wrong idea. <laughs> I waited an hour outside to get in because the queue was so long I had to walk for 10 minutes just to get to the end of the line. But despite that, it was such a good concert. She's insane. She sounds just like she does in a recording. Her vocals are just effortless. I think that's probably the best word to use. Um, she's mad. Uh, and she sang all the good songs. Was very happy about it. And I met two other girls as well who were there by themselves and we made a little group which was lovely and we ended up with a decent view. Like we went in um, and it just looked impossible to see. Like there was it was not going to be an option um, but we managed to wiggle our way down to the very back of the lower standing area which was actually a pretty decent view all things considered and we were right next to Aaliyah who's also in Sex Lies of College Girls uh, which Renee is in like she was right next to us she was three people away from me and like Renee was talking to her throughout the concert and we were like what <laughs> um, so that was also really cool but yeah, I'm, I'm sure I've inserted some clips already, but it was a great, great time. Got back now. Samuel's here. Hello. Good job. Oh dear. <laughs> um, so yeah, I need to listen to 22 by Taylor Swift before I go to bed. Um, and cry myself to sleep, basically, is the plan. <laughs> I don't want to be old. I don't want to be old. Birthdays are always a weird thing, but I am going to have a nice day tomorrow. I've had a nice day today. It's just weird getting older. Especially like 22 is such a good age, 23 sounds a little bit disgusting, but you know, <laughs> I've got no choice. <laughs> I got about an hour and a half, <laughs> so uh, better get that Taylor Swift song on. <laughs> See you in the morning. Good morning, good morning, it's my birthday. <laughs> it's my birthday, <laughs> ta-da. Um, you have caught us at about midday. Um, had a lovely morning so far, chilled out, uh, opened all my presents, got so many lovely things, very, very happy about them all. And, cherry on the cake, we managed to get rush tickets for Book of Mormon, which I've wanted Sam to see for ages. I love it. And we've tried for months to try and get rush tickets and never ever have. So to get it today, just cherry on the cake. Um, but we're heading to Borough Market now to get some lunch and have a little wander around and then we're going to go see Book of Mormon which is just very very exciting. <laughs> Munching away. Um, his queue was a little longer than mine, so I did eat mine entirely and forget to vlog it. Um, but in my defense, it's very hard to hold food in one hand and a camera in the other and balance all the other various things we've got going on. So um, I did take a picture though, so I'll put that in. But I had this like ciabatta, pulled pork, parmesan, apple slaw thing, and it was so, so good like, better than I thought it was going to be. And you've gone for chicken shawarma? And it's good? Yep. Approved. <laughs> um, so yeah, it, we actually, I was worried we wouldn't have enough time, but we had, we've had plenty of time to just wander around and get stuff. I think because when I've been here before, it's been on a Saturday. So to now be here on a Friday, it's so much quieter. Like, there's still lots of people so that there's an atmosphere, but it is nowhere near as chaotically busy as it is on a weekend. Like, you can actually move. There's no queue for the toilets, like, what is going on? We've had a lovely little wander, so I think we'll probably grab a drink somewhere and um, head to the theatre at some point. Probably wander around for a little bit more, I guess, first. Uh, but yeah, such a nice day so far. I'm just happy little bean. <laughs> just as excited as I am to see it to be honest. Um, so at the very back of the stalls, so the very top of the stage is cut off, but we can see the entire width pretty well. And it's actually, considering we're at the back of the stalls, we're very close, like it's not that big a theatre. So a bit of a win for 25 Decent. quid on the day. Yeah. Can't complain and great leg room. <laughs> mm. Thoughts after act one? That was really good. Sorry, you've got a random mm. in your mouth. <laughs> um, Halfway through the act though, Sam's chair just like 
broke. Yeah, it's it weird. Just it was like, like I suddenly went boom like that. Yeah. So I was like, on one side for <laughs> just trying to keep up. Um, the arch, yeah. We asked like one of the people out front of house, like we're really sorry, and they're fully sold out. But luckily, there were these two like disabled seats behind us, so she just said we could sit there. And no one was in them. Ones. Yeah, no one was in them. And then she gave us each a free drink as well. So. Chin chin. <laughs> I've got there, I've got, where is it? I've got a cider, so cheers. Cheers. Cheers for that. Happy birthday to me. Um, and the view's still pretty good. In fact, the view's better for me because our seats are in front of us, so there's no one sat directly in front of us anymore. Mm. So I've actually got a better view, even though it's slightly further back. So overall a win, um, even though the whole place was sold out, so that was very lucky. But yeah, we're gonna have a couple randoms, have our cheeky drinks and uh, enjoy act two. Yay. day well book of mormon was so so good just as hilarious and brilliant as i remembered it and sam absolutely loved it too so that was great um it was such a fun show so so happy we managed to get tickets to see it today of all days definitely that birthday luck coming through because when i've tried for rush tickets on even a monday before i've not got them so i was super super happy we got them today um, but after the theatre we just had a sort of a wander around, went to the Lego store, went to a H&M, um, then just wandered around a few bars in Soho, uh, went to a few pubs, had a couple of drinks before we made our way over to Shoreditch where we went to Flatiron. Um, which I took a few clips of and some photos so I'll put them in. Um, but yeah, the steak, it was really chewy which I didn't like but the flavour was so good and the chips were insane 10 out of 10 for the chips and the sauce i got mm, so so good so yeah it was a shame it was so chewy but it was really yummy i think if i went again i got it medium rare which is what they recommend but i think i'd probably just get medium next time to be honest but it was very very tasty um and for a steak for 13 pounds in london not so bad obviously you had to add on the price of the chips and the sauce but the sauce is only a quid so not all that bad all things considered um but yeah, and then you got free ice cream as well at the end, which was a major win, and really yummy cocktails, so big fan overall. Um, but yeah, it was a really yummy dinner, and I've had a really lovely day. So I think I'm probably going to FaceTime my fam now, um, just before we go to bed, but I will catch you tomorrow. We are going out tomorrow for my birthday, so that will certainly be interesting. <laughs> I've never walked so fast in my life. <gasps> <laughs> oh. oh, sorry. <laughs> Left you behind a van somewhere. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to the vlog again. Um, so about yesterday, didn't do a single thing. Did not do a single thing. Cancelled the booking we had at Dishoom because it was not gonna happen. Um, Saturday night was so much fun. I loved Cahoots, I'm obsessed with it. It is just so wonderfully themed. It reminded me of like a Disney park um, in that sense and all the staff were so, on it, it was great customer service, they were really in with the theme as well. Uh, the cocktails, I've never been to a bar with such a wide range of cocktails, like it took me so long just to choose. Um, but they were great, obviously in the novelty cups and whatever, but um, despite that they were delicious cocktails. And it was so nice to have all my friends there. Um, we went to Simmons after, which was less fun, <laughs> considerably. And um, we had a fallen soldier, on the way back which i won't go into um but essentially there was no way i was going to be making it to Dishoom yesterday morning um so yesterday was basically a write-off but today i am back uh sam has now gone back home he is working uh, but i have monday off so i'm gonna venture into central i think i'm gonna start off by going to bunsik which is a korean corn dog place i've been once before and i loved it i have had an american corn dog before I had it at camp, hated it, 
absolutely hated it. It was the worst day of the week when I found out we were having corn dogs um, after that because it was just not good. But Korean corn dogs, whole different kettle of fish, stringy cheese, batter, all the bad things, and I love it. Uh, so I'm probably going to do that. I think I'm going to go have a look at Uniqlo as well because I've heard they have a pretty good like thermals collection and I'm going on holiday next week uh, but it's going to be absolutely freezing cold so I don't have any thermals and I'm going to be outside a lot of the time so I thought maybe investing in a leg pair of leggings or you know a top or something might be worth it uh, so I'm gonna go have a look I'm gonna have a nose see what I think um, so that's the plan I think I'm gonna go to a museum later to an exhibition I've really wanted to go to so I thought I'd just bring you along for the day uh, as I potter about London and see what's going on on a Monday a Monday off in London that is a true rarity for this nine-to-five gal <laughs> so do come with <laughs> I am shaken, like shook to my core. Um, I got to my tube and I saw Griff. Um, I love Griff. I've seen her live twice. I've seen her at Latitude and went to her headline show at Brixton O2 Academy last year. Um, got off the tube and I saw it was her. I was walking up the stairs, I was like, I'm positive this is Griff. And like, we even like left at the same exit and I was like, how do I, what do I do? And we came out and I was like looking for my direction she was looking for hers. And I really wanted to say hello but when you're in a tube station it's such an awkward place because it's like everyone's moving quick you want to get out so I was just like what do I do? And I didn't want to seem like a creepy stalker so I just sort of like left her to it. Very overwhelmed. I just went for my bun sick which was really nice but I was just sat there like what's happening? Like like to see one of my favourite artists just vibing. I've recovered from my uh, star celebrity sighting and um, I decided to walk to the Uniqlo that was nearby. Google Maps lied to me. Opens in spring 2023. So we are now walking to Covent Garden instead for a little wander and I might try going to the Glossier store. I've never been in it. Um, so we'll see. I'm not sure. I don't think I'd buy anything but just have a little look around. Uh, but yeah, hopefully um, that's not closed too, or yet to open. <laughs> here it is. I've literally never been here before because every time I come to Covent Garden, um, it's a Saturday and there's a massive queue, so intriguing. I've just been to one of my most favourite convenient places in central London which is the Royal Opera House on the corner of Co Covent Garden and um, it's literally right in the corner tucked away just this set of doors but if you go up to the very top up the stairs straight up the escalator there's a rooftop bar um, and I also have free toilets because the toilets inside Covent Garden itself you do have to pay to use so it's a good spot to go to for a free trip to the loo. They also have like a free water refillable station and cups there so you can go and fill up a cup with some water which is what I just did. Um, also on the rooftop bar they do have some soft drinks so it's not that expensive and it's got really lovely views over Covent Garden. Um, I didn't need to do that today. Um, thought I'd save a few pennies uh, but it is a really good thing to do sometimes um, if I'd bought my book I probably would have gone there but never mind um, so yeah I just had a perch for a minute on one of the sofas that wasn't in the middle of a cafe um, and now I'm gonna walk to the Uniqlo on Regent Street before heading over to the V&A Let me know. 